Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. We are playing some Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. Always nice to start with a load screen. <laughs> Not exactly sure what we'll get into today. Um, let's check out our gear slots first. See if we need to go sell anything. No, we're empty. Okay, quest time. All right, so we have the man behind the moons, which would give us the demigods statues. Um, purchasing this, and I think that we don't have enough money to do that yet. Five ninety, and I think it's a thousand, if I remember correctly. So that's quite a bit. Um, we only have three of these keys left to go, and I'm kind of hoping to just run into them, but I don't know how likely that is. Um, I think we do have the pulso. And let's see, a Thunderbrew potion and an invisibility potion. Um, and we get Defendo. This one sounds like it could be a good one to go ahead and start. So let's see, I'm gonna collect troll bogeys, need to find and feed a troll. Okay, so no idea where the trolls could be. I wonder if they show up on the map or not. Trolls, where are you? Seeking trolls. Hmm. I bet there could be something in the Forbidden Forest. I really need to start flying around and collecting some of these um, crazy far out checkpoints. This zoom is a little bit awkward on a 3D map. Oh, interesting. Let's say there's a demigod statue over here that we could collect. Maybe I should put my remaining talent point into um, Revealio. Ah, I'm out. We'll do it on the next one then. Okay, so troll bogeys. Let's look again on the map a little bit and see if we can find where trolls are. I'm kind of thinking an opportunity would be in the Forbidden Forest. Um, perhaps. The West Forbidden Forest. Let's head up here and we will hop on the broom and go activate a couple more uh, flu network spots. How nice to see you, my young friend. And we need to cast a pulso on a rotated enemy as well. So I think we have a set here. And an enemy is pretty close by. Right over here. Rebellion. Let's see if we can tell what they are. Okay. Looks like a pair of goblins. Uh, All right, I think I got him first. Oh wow, we got a lot of ancient magic out of this. Nice. Okay, so, oh, I guess I didn't actually levitate an enemy and cast a pulso. Let's try that again. No, it's not going to work on the dug bog. So, let's see if we can get our flying thing, the broom, as it's known. 
is at a loss for words trying to think through what else to do here. Okay. I want to go check out this warp point since it's in the kind of interesting location. Like, why is there one back here? I wonder if this is... Oh, there's a bunch of enemies out this way. Interesting. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, I guess it did ultimately count the um, troll bogies. Okay. All right. Well, let's head to the Forbidden Forest, I guess. Let's set out for right here. We'll catch a flight. Oh, I think it's actually over this way. Okay. Oh, look at this crazy structure. I wonder what this is. I think this may be the place that we've already been to. Yeah. I think it's when we, we came here to do the, uh, ancient power and everything, so. I'm gonna look around on the outside of it though. This Rebellion. looks like there could be treasure or something. Now that we can fly, gotta explore these things a little bit better. Oh, cool. Can we get in this way? No. Hmm. Gotta get money, so we're doing the exploration just for that reason. Rebellion. Hmm. Hopefully we can get up there and get this as well. Nice. Elf made ivory glove. Let's see where the staircase will take us. All right, we'll keep going. Looks like there's still some money laying around. Revelio. Maybe I haven't been to the spire. Looks like there's two little baggies of money out this way too. We'll just keep going though. Oh, level three unlock. Ah, uh, this is indeed that same place. I remember it had the broom hanging around. So let's see if we can get back on our broom and fly around and find that pair of money sacks. Rebellion. Money, where are you? Here we go. Okay, not a ton, but better than none, right? Ah, I've heard about these. These are like little landing platforms. I don't know if they have any special need, but I think you can cast a, a fire to light them up or something. Um, Incendium. Maybe I have to Good for you. There we go. Cool. No idea if this has any kind of impact, but there it is. Wonder if it's part of a quest. Revelio. Okay, let's get a little bit higher than these guys. Hopefully they won't see me. Plans must be carefully and strategically laid out. Okay, back in the Forbidden Forest. See something green over there, it looks a little scary. I just gotta know where the trolls are. I may have to look it up. All you I wanna know is where the trolls at. 
Hey, look at this creepy thing. Rebellion. What is that? Oh, I guess it. They're benign. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Oh, a whole bunch of froggies. <laughs> These are always hilarious. I wonder if this is a puzzle, like, gotta go through the white right frog to get somewhere. Hmm. Uh oh. That probably alarmed somebody. There we go. Hey, 37 coins. I'm gonna live a life now. Okay. What about down over here? Let's see. Might have to echo this one or something. See, can we get back over to this one? Oh no, I saw Rebellion. another thing somewhere. Ah, here we go. This might be cheating. <laughs> okay. Landing's unavailable. Ah, you can just search it with the island land. Well, that's good to know. Let's see if we can find these other items. What are those things over there? I'm guessing it's some sort of beast. Revelio. Okay. Well, I don't know what it matters, but um, maybe we'll go ahead and Incendio. try out this uh, ancient magic location. Oh. Oh, I see. Let's see. Huh. I see there's more of that to collect, maybe? Rebellion. So that's what we gotta use the frogs for. your meter capacity. Well, I had no idea. Okay. Hopefully this won't kill me. Okay, good. Ooh, level 20 dark mongrels. Yeah, I don't know about this. Fly away. Alright. Let's go trolling around for trolls. We don't see one quickly enough we'll uh look up online see what we can do Revelio. come on trolls hey there's gotta be some of you around here somewhere oh yeah this is jackdaw's tomb okay been here before Uh, let's see. Bandit camps and looks like another ancient magic trial. Um, Rebellion. Let's see if we can fly our way over to it. Maybe we'll see a troll along the way. Okay, I think it, we've been in this little part a time or two as well. So, 
Let's keep flying to this trial. Who lived here, I wonder? Ooh. What are those? They look like trouble. Let's get this over with, shall we? I have things to do. Revelio. If you owe me galleons, then you can't pay. Okay. Let's get a tombstone. Let's go check this place out. Confringo! Alright. Let's see. Levioso! Confringo! Kaboom! Hopefully it won't be too dangerous down here. Rebellion. Levioso. Hmm. I wonder if targeting Levioso is what we need on these. I bet that's what it is needed. I don't think I have it. Depulsa. One of those bones that disrespect the dead. Uh oh. I was a little bit worried that they were going to reanimate on me there. Interesting. Revelio. Akio. Okay. What else we have here? Uh huh. I wonder if this is the last one. That solves that. Nice. In theory, you must be struck with fire spells to make it vulnerable to other attacks. This is the collections we need to learn about enemy weaknesses. Akio, Levioso, Depulsa, Defender. Confringo. Oh, didn't see this guy. <laughs> this is the first time I've encountered one of the zombies. It's pretty scary. The stench of the dead. Alright, what do we got? Hmm. Revelio. I think that actually may be it. So, let's see what we need to find our way out now. Um, now, isn't this interesting? So, I wonder if we do. Akio. Revelio. Interesting. I feel like there's got to be some sort of charm or something that, if you use it here, it would help you get out. Oh, this is a no-fly zone. Huh. Um, maybe I can... Levioso. No. Let's look at putting Wingardium Leviosa on. I don't think that's going to do it, but we'll try. Uh, where's our Wingardium at? Oh, I'm totally blinking. Let's see. It says Arresto Momentum, Glacius, Levioso, Transformation, Descendo, Flippendo, Spiliarmus, Defendo. Oh, yeah. I forgot. When Guardian Leviosa comes with um, Accio. Accio. But I thought there was a more direct way to cast it. Okay. Well, maybe I just need to warp out of here. And let me go ahead and see where the trolls are located. Um, I didn't defeat a troll. Okay. I 
looking it up now. Fellcroft, Coast Cavern, Marnweem, Wake Lake, and Glagmar Coast. All right, cave like icons. Okay. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, first off, let's just go ahead and warp over here, and then I'll uh, start looking for a cave icon. What? Wonder who lives here. All right. Uh oh. I think we may have had a crash. Oh no. Oh no. It's slowing down. I want to see. I bet. I bet we got a crash coming. Oh. Feels like maybe it recovered a little bit there. Interesting. So I guess sometimes fast travel could be a problem for uh, stuff. Let's see if we can Levioso this thing over to the... Um, oh, I think it's actually... Levioso. Gotta Levioso it first. Nope. That doesn't work either. Strange. Okay. Well... Let's go ahead and find us a spot on the map. Oops, not on quest, map. Here we go. Hmm. Cave like symbols. Let's see, uh, Feldcroft was mentioned, so let's go there. We'll go this way. Maybe we just need to get there, um, do flying, and we'll see a cave along the way, perhaps. It's a good distance away. Give us a little time to fly. Nothing to poach in Aranger except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Hmm. Uh oh. You're okay. crossing my path. I don't want to be able to fly it, so let's see how we're gonna get around this. Surely there's a way to fly over there. I guess they just don't want me going on the mountains. Yeah, that's gotta be why. Hey, there's this a cave looking this thing. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Let's see. I wonder what this quest is. Oh, how I love a good puzzle. We'll talk to her in a bit. Um, I would like to find this cave location. Um, however, let's see. I think there's a warp. Or a flue like right over here, so let's get it first. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, and where is this cave? <gasps> Let me see if I can set it as a uh, quest marker. Let's 
See, it looks like it's straight ahead, but it also has like a little down icon. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, maybe I have to fly over here, descend somewhat. Like maybe it's on the edge of this river. Hmm. It's kind of looking at the coastline a little bit. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Ah, here we go. I wonder if this is it. So he's made comments like that before, and I wonder if I have to have a special spell to uh, get into this area, because this is the second place I've seen kind of like this, and Rebellion. no obvious way to get in. Um, hmm. Let's get back in the air, and let's see. Let's see if we're seeing any other cave locations on here. Not yet. Okay, I guess we'll just continue on to here because maybe we'll have better luck um, in the actual Feldcroft area. It's a guide I saw and just said near Feldcroft and I don't think we were quite over there yet. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. There we go. I want to get the fast travel spot real fast. But you really got to get right in front of it, don't you? All right. Hmm. Guess let's just keep going. Maybe we'll see a cave icon here soon. We have a whole bunch of enemies. Whoa. What is going on? They're fighting each other. Ah, it's like wizards versus spiders. That's pretty crazy. I didn't know that they would fight each other. Rebellion. Hmm, this area looks like it's peaceful. Nice to see you, my young friend. Okay, where's our next checkpoint? It's a shame you don't see as much on the big map as you do on the mini map, but like it makes the planning a little bit tricky and difficult. Like, I'm really not sure how to, like, if you're a completionist, how one's gonna go through here and get all the things. Goodbye. Hmm. Hey, I think I see a cave now. This looks like trouble. Oh, not for a bacon and mushroom stew. Hmm. see where we're on the map. Oh. oh. Here's another one I haven't got to. Maybe it has some caves. <laughs> Hearing that dark wizard threaten me as a fly away on my broom. Not giving a care in the world.
Fly, little buddy, fly. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Yep, we sure are. Just trying to get some troll boogers. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is going to be part of uh, this Merlin trial. We won't mess with it right now. Um, well, what else we got to do here? Fly around a little bit longer and then maybe I'll check out one of the other regions mentioned in the guide. I think this place would just be crawling with trolls. There are a lot of kind of rocky areas up here. Maybe one of them has uh, something. Seen better days. Ah, here's this one. Yeah, I think this is it. All right, wish me luck. Hmm. Assume this requires I put something on it. Like Leviosa, maybe? Or Levios? Leviosa! Oh, there we go. I think I saw it changing. Oh, let's see. Let's try again. Weird. Um, that's it only partially open. Interesting. Let me uh, look that up as well. Is there something I need to put on it, maybe, nearby? Just thinking maybe there's an orb or something. I remember running into one of these in a different area that had these like weird walls and stuff. But I don't know. I think we're just going to have to fly away and let that one be for the moment. Oh, look at all these little puff skeins. <laughs> What's this little symbol? Hey, it's a troll. Nice. River troll. Let me also. Confringo. 
Hit a troll with its own ball. Wonder if her rest of momentum would be good enough. I don't think I have it mapped right now though. Let's try, uh, let's get him the pulso on there. Okay, actually you have it next. Oh. Oh. This thing is totally kicking my butt. And let's get, um, I assume the pulso won't work, but maybe we can get um, a rest of momentum on there. Oh, missing again. Seems to like have an effect on it. I guess we'll go back up to these. Incendio. as much chance to throw it back was with our one. There we go. Okay, you get him on the ground and you can do a lot more damage, okay. Okay. Now I know how to fight these guys, so it'll be a lot easier. I'll do it one more time. One of these. Here's my troll boogies. <laughs> Let's see, I bet a big dude like that's guarding a lot of um, different stuff. So. Let's see if he's got any treasures. Hey, yeah, there is something back here. And we have the stuff to complete the quest. So that's exciting. Um, we'll head over that way, but first I want to go to the room of requirement. Okay, lovely. Getting a little bit of everything. A geometric house cloak. I need some improvement. Good. Well, that's a treat. Let's see how our, all of our lovelies are doing. Oops. if we need to start bringing anything. There we go. And let's see how much money we have. Gotta be getting close to being able to get that premium upgrade. It's like we're not quite there yet, but if we went and sold some stuff, we would be. I think I'll complete the quest I'm currently on, then we'll go sell, and we'll see what we want to do after that. Uh, let's see, it must be, yeah, the geometric one. Oh, nice. Uh, 
bonding one increased damage with Petrificus Totalis. Sadly, this one we're not even going to be able to try on right now. Okay. Let's see if we need to brew anything. Still don't have the Thunder Brew and our Invisibility Potion either. So that's a little bit of a shame, but no problem. All right, so we need to go to Divination class. She is in the library annex. Uh, Divination classroom, here we go. You up to now. Oh yeah, forgot about this little ladder. <laughs> Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. Revelio. Nice. Oh. Rebellion. A mystery model. The standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which the model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. <laughs> Duncan owes his reputation to you. Ooh, look at this. All right, let's go get our spell. Huh, I've already collected the chest that was in here. I thought I remembered coming up what here at least once. Here? I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. Here's a demigod statue. We've got to get that. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious... Based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? Hmm. I can't get rid of this feeling of a coming danger. I see. Know that such omens are not damning if they can at least prepare us. And you are preparing yourself even now. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. Okay. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell? Guess let's go over here. I want to get up there. Okay, training dummy. Where are you? This 
I think you have it. <laughs> the pulse. Akio. Repeller. Descender. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test. Akio. Classroom. Okay. What do we have here? A demigod. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes, Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. <laughs> intriguing. That is one word for it. And I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. Okay, now let's go to the menu in advance time so that we can get this statue. I really want my Alohomora, if I can get it. Mine now, dummy guys. Hmm. exactly how I felt about it. Okay. Let's see what we got on our quest now. We do have a talent point, so I think it will put that into our Revealio. Okay. And now I have enough to go get the broom upgrade, so I'm going to activate it here first uh there we go and then for convenience we'll do this and fast travel to the nearest location i thought there was one yeah here we go we'll sell i'll be our stuff and then we'll buy the upgrade does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. Okay, money, money, money. Here we go. Increases acceleration and You'll be speed. thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Okay, nice. Thanks for stopping by. I, I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Razor's mastered. 
If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against through it all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Okay. Time to go speak with Melda. Off to the races, then. Oh, quite a ways away. Let's see if we can get a warp going. Whoa, okay, world map. I wonder why Hogsmeade gets its own dedicated one, like it's... Hey, this actually looks pretty close by to one of the warp spots I found. Good. That made making that trip down there that much more useful. Great. You can't oh, I for imagine keep how forgetting about that target lock. This looks intriguing. Yeah, this actually seems to be burning my meter a little bit less too. That's cool. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Ravenclaw. <laughs> you flatter me. All right. Let's see. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them, and I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes round telling me I did a fine job. Do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. Okay. I'm ready to fly. Finally. A decent challenge. Let's see if we can do it. Twenty rings, two twenty-six. Okay, it's a pretty long gap to get I'm this first one. Of this. Ho, ho! Well, this broom upgrade does seem to handle a little bit differently. See that for sure. This course does look a little bit more advanced than the previous ones too. Ooh. Ah, Blast. darn it! Barely missed it. I'd say that was acceptable. Ooh. Excellent. Really had to focus. This is tough. The way that the bubbles don't line up the rings is uh, throwing me off a bit here. Nope, oh, missed it again. I don't know, this one still looks like I could possibly make it, but those penalties are going to add up. It's already six seconds lost, so I bet I'll have to retry. That's okay, I haven't tried this one before.
Okay, just a couple left. I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, two more. Oh, the time's gonna be close. That six second penalty. Well, we got it. I've got this. Wonder what the top time for this one is. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Hmm. If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of my own house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. <laughs> to race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check 155. your time. 155, wow. Okay. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. All right, back to Weeks. Hogsmeade, here I come. You're back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Okay, nice. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Okay, let's see what's on our map now. much money we have. Maybe we can buy another potion recipe. Uh, only 402. I'm gonna wait till I have like a thousand saved up because I think they're pretty expensive. Um, well, let's see. I also need to buy some more stuff at Tomes and Scrolls. And I think I need some seeds too. So there's just a lot going on here. Um, let's go back to our quest and see what we got. So the key and the demigods, so this is getting a little bit tricky, but I wonder what this one's going to be like. It might be a good one that we can go ahead and try. Oh, 
talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Wonder where this adventure will take us. Hello, I good to see you, you outside the castle. You too, I meet. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. <laughs> Look at that hog up there. It's Rebellion. Nice. Oh, hope you knew you had a floating page behind your head. Mounted hog's head. This mounted hog's head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the hog's head. Oh yeah, I didn't know this one. Mine! Oh, it's hermit mask. Mask. Let's see if that upgrade is good. Oh, we gotta be level 21. Darn it. I'm always conflicted with level locking, you know, all that stuff, but like, if you have it in your possession, I kind of feel like you should be able to, like, Can use I help it. You with something? Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. 
Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Ah. I think that's a place that I found previously and couldn't do anything about. I think this is... Oh, that's not far away at all. Okay. Huh. 